Nations close on the 10th of January, with cohort 3 beginning on the 8th of June. After applications are closed, there is a period of assessment between the 20th and the 29th of January. After this, we will invite the finalists along to the OGCC on February the 14th for pitch day. So the Oil and Gas Technology Centres recently published a series of technology roadmaps that we've got live and they're all fully available on our website. A lot of the companies that we select will need to be aligned with uh, the roadmaps of the solution centres, so I encourage all startups or entrepreneurs that are interested in participating in the programme to check those out and let us know where best you fit within those. Um, previous companies that we've selected into the programme have looked at single well monitoring across an entire oil field. We've got some businesses looking to convert uh, waste heat into energy to power equipment and we've even got some businesses looking at providing well monitoring technology for abandoned and shut in wells. So those are just some examples of some of the businesses we've taken on board previously. So single founders can uh, take part in the TechX program. It's not without its challenges. It's obviously a lot more difficult because you're taking a lot, on, a lot of responsibility yourself. Whereas some of the other businesses are able to divide up some of the work between themselves. Um, but it's not to say that it can be done and we've even had uh, one of the single founder teams win the PP Performance Awards so it can be done uh, to great effect. So we can absolutely help with securing visas for, for those that do need support to get into the country. Um, we've now got endorsement status with the UK Home Office to provide support for startup and innovator visas. Um, that essentially allows uh, those entrepreneurs further access uh, and entry into the UK to take part in the programme and post-programme as well.